Hey van lifers, RVers, and nomads of all type, Kevin here, and today I'm going to show you something you may have never seen or may not have known about before. Did you know that once upon a time you could buy an RV that would fly? It's true. They actually made these. So let's get into it. In the mid 70s, Winnebago made a flying RV. And this was done for several reasons, you have to understand. If you go back to the mid to late 70s, what we were dealing with was oil embargoes. We just came through these oil shortages. The price of gas was going up at the time. So there were a lot of things going on in the economy that were hurting RV motorhome sales. So one of the reasons they did this was simply for publicity. They could take these around and have them at their dealerships and they would bring lots of people in to look at one of these things, of course, who were never going to buy one because they were crazy expensive, which we'll get to in a minute. But it was good for bringing people into the showrooms that then might buy a motorhome or a pull behind camper or something like that. And they actually got into renting these for a while, which is even more insane when you understand what this is. Now, times have changed with all the media coverage. This would go across the world instantly today. But again, this is the 1970s. It got mentioned in a couple of newspaper articles on page 32. It did make it one month into Popular Mechanics magazine back in 1977. But it's just fascinating that this was even done and it really worked. Now here's what you need to know. These motorhomes, RVs, that flew were actually converted military helicopters. And they came in a couple of different configurations and could seat and sleep up to six people. Now this thing that Winnebago created was called the Heli home, heli home for, for helicopter. And it had everything that you could want. It had a stove, it had a refrigerator, it had a 40,000 BTU furnace, it had a full bedroom, it had a TV, it had its own generator, it had a full bathroom with a shower. So again, it was everything that was in a full size RV shoved into a helicopter. Now, the fuel for these things requiring aviation fuel was unbelievably expensive and you would have to have a pilot. So this was not something the average Joe was going to be able to go out and do. But concept wise, if you just imagine being able to go and get in a helicopter and go fly especially out west into the desert and just pick you a place and come down, you're done. Hang out there as long as you wanted to, explore whatever it was in that area, get back in, take off, and go fly to another area. In fact, they went as far as having an option for these instead of landing on land so that you could land them on water. Again, it's just absolutely brilliant. So you're thinking, Kevin, if it was so brilliant, why didn't this thing work? Why didn't it take off? Here's why. The cost. These things came in a couple of different configurations. The least expensive one being $170,000, which today would equate to about 800 grand. And then the fuel cost, and then having to hire a pilot to fly you around on top of it. Now, Knowing this was out of the reach of a few of their customers, they actually had, get this, a rental program going. That's right, you could rent this thing for a week for just $10,000. And the cost of your fuel and whatever you had to pay a qualified pilot, but you could do it then and take your family or your friends out on your adventures. Needless to say, the price probably killed this thing. But check out the pictures of these and just let your mind wander for a minute and think about what could have been. 
Think about what could be if someone could efficiently do this same thing today. Imagine what this would open up as far as places you can go and the time savings to get there and taking some of the hassle out of the traveling. Now, the last thing you're thinking is, man, they built these things and they really did. If they built these things, where are they? Why haven't I ever seen one? Well, here's what happened. Again, these things were built on military aircraft. The ideal kind of fizzled out after a couple of years and they only built six or seven of these. It's all that was ever manufactured. So when this ideal dwindled away, the value of the helicopters was so much that companies bought them, jerked this crap out, converted them back into aircraft to be used for other things. So unfortunately, none of these actually exist today. But it was a real thing. Winnebago actually did an advertising campaign for these things. They ran ads in different magazines. So it was a real thing. But I want to know what you think of this. Was this a really stupid ideal to have a flying RV? Or was it an absolutely brilliant ideal that you could have a flying motorhome that you could take anywhere? Do you think any company will actually come back and do something like this now or in the near future? How much would you pay to be able to experience this? Let's get a discussion started. Let me know on the, down in the comment section. Also down in the description are links to other recent videos I've done on different topics. Some you may have missed that you may be interested in. Never hesitate to let me know something that you might want to see or something you might want to know more about when it comes to camping on the road or van life or van conversions or whatever. We'll talk soon.